Today I've been asked to talk about making several shots of a situation instead of just the one image. If you have the opportunity, no one's fighting you, the situation is okay, it's okay to make extra shots without disturbing the subject. It's kind of uh, almost silly to think that you got it on that one shot. That's kind of almost egotistical. Okay, so you did get it. Now that's in your back pocket. That's not going to go anywhere. So why not continue, like I say, as long as you didn't disturb anything and things are still working. So don't just trust your first image. The professional photographer on an assignment, he can't trust himself to take just one image because he has to satisfy the people that he's working for. And so that's the kind of a thing that you're doing also, what we're all doing, except the public is who we're working for. And so here's an example, uh, 1996 Christmas Eve in London. I had worked all day by myself on the streets and ended up at Victoria Station. I had one roll of film left and uh, I saw another man, a young man with a camera and I, on my way out of the station to go meet my wife, I went up to this, this English man and wished him a Merry Christmas. And at that point, he said, well, you must be here for the Orient Express. I said, no, I don't know anything about it. He said, well, the original 1930s steam train, Orient Express, is going to be coming in for a special demonstration or whatever it was. And so I stayed. And in 15 minutes, I used up this roll of film. But I was very nervous because I knew I only had one roll of film and I didn't want to mess anything up. And so what I do, I need at least three or four different elements, factors, and details in the photograph to help tell the story. That's why I backed up a little bit to include part of the trains, the numbers, the window, and wait for the gesture. Two men together, wait for the gesture. But also, you can't wait too long because you're working and you don't know how long that train is going to be there, and you only have one roll of film left. Now here's a vertical format, the same situation. I got some steam, so I have to take that into consideration when I'm making the print. I have to really be careful to get that steam to be nice and transparent like that. And just a slightly less texture on his neck, that's the highlight, that's what you want. Got your deep blacks. Here's another one, a mood kind of a shot. Less of the train, but more of the mood. If I included more of this train, and I let, got it wider here so that you could see that it was a train, it would detract interest from this man. And this is what I wanted you to see, the despondency. It's getting very dark now. It was at night and uh, it was almost completely dark. Put him in a frame. I learned that from Cartier-Bresson. I don't mind saying that. <laughs> He, he, Henri put a lot of things in frames like that. And of course, I think a lot of people have realized how effective that can be. More of a close up without disturbing the situation and ready for anything. If they ask me a question what I'm doing, I, I've got a question for them or I'm ready for an answer for them so that there's no fear on my part of getting in trouble or, or being clumsy if someone says, what are you doing? You're ready, you're, you're, you're a tourist, you're having a good day. Is this the original train? Wow, wonderful, nice to see you. And carry on, don't let them stop your work. And always looking for, I'm always looking for relationships. I need at least three relationships in every photograph if I can possibly get them. I don't just start clicking away, I'm moving and thinking and reacting to the situation and putting myself in positions. Another person in a frame, more of the mystery, Don't show what they're looking at. Another one, the engineer, barely see him, it's getting dark. The fireman putting his gloves on, you wait for that gesture. It's like a silent movie, you need a lot of the gestures because there's no, there's no sound. That's 15 minutes, getting darker and darker. So I had a wonderful night. I worked all day by myself and then at night I went to meet my wife so we could celebrate on Christmas Eve, but I went there with about 25 good pictures off a 36 exposure roll in 15 minutes. Sometimes photography is crazy magic like that. I probably only shot five rolls that whole day in London 
and then that one roll at Victoria Station. I don't carry a lot of film. And I try not to take pictures. I know that sounds silly, but I was a rifle marksmanship instructor in the Marine Corps. And all through my life, I've done things that took accuracy, working on cars, doing voices, the rifle marksmanship instructor. So I've got that in my head. So I try to be very careful when I make the shot so I don't have to crop it later. I try to be very careful, but then I try to think what's next. If I haven't disturbed anything, if it's still going on, keep working it, but not just click, click.